Hi, so let's talk about some things that might help you get your home ready to sell and the things that are most valuable and get you the best return on investment. Many times um, we talk about, you know, getting a home ready and people, sellers come to us and say, oh, we've got all these things that need to get done. And most of the time we shorten that list greatly and talk about the things that are priority, the things that are going to get you your best return, and also the things that are going to make sure that it passes alone or help to make sure that it passes alone. So I'm going to list five tips here of things that I think are very helpful. And the first one is painting, painting, painting. Paint goes in a long ways clean and fresh. It odorizes. It helps to really, you know, really take care of brightening the home. And so I'm um, kind of going along with that. I will say that lighting and light bulbs make a huge difference. So go out and spend $100 on some cheap white LED lights. Again, a lot of the light bulbs used to be very yellowing, very corkscrew. Those old corkscrew ones um, really, you know, made a house look yellow, look darker. Um, trying to go with daylight is what they said, but it was actually um, more dimming and more darking and darkening. And so um, that's number one tip is lighting and painting. Flooring keeping flooring consistent. So if you have a lot of different types of flooring in the home, if you have some older and some newer and things like that, updating everything um, to a more consistent type of um, flooring so that it's throughout the home. And, um, and uh, most people are preferring something like a laminate or a hardwood or something, a tile, something that is a less maintenance, less cleaning, less work. Carpet collects everything, people, pets, and kids, and things like that. You know, always having to clean carpets. <clears throat> I know that that's um, carpet is least ex less expensive, but um, a lot of times you can watch for sales and things like that on some decent laminate and um, some of the tiles and things like that and do that. Um, kitchen. <clears throat> kitchen is a very important place that really, really wins the home because many times it is the wife deciding which home. And, and so again, bright, light, sometimes simple things like the painting, changing out some fixtures like the faucet, handles and, and doorknobs and, and things like that, um, maybe doing a new appliances. So again, not some huge, huge expense. I know appliances can get expensive, but what keep out, keep your eye out on like Facebook Marketplace, on some of the used appliance stores, things like that. Um, but just something that, you know, again, lightens and brightens up the home. Replacing countertops um, sometimes too, if you have not a huge kitchen, if you don't have a large area, you can get some of the stock countertops at Menards and Lowe's and Home Depot and things like that that look a lot more modern, a lot newer. Some of them even look like granites and stones and things like that, but they are laminate. And so those things can, you know, can be a very inexpensive um, upgrade. And then lastly, when you are all done and everything's ready, hire a professional cleaner. Have someone that comes in and thoroughly wipes down all of the door handles and the light fixtures and the you know cabinet fronts and the appliances and carpets cleaned and, and windows and things like that. Going along with that bright and light clean goes a huge, huge long way. When people walk in, their first impression of smell and sight are the first things and you have about 15 seconds to catch them and keep them or they turn around and walk out the door. So I hope this helps a little bit talk about some of those things. You can comment below, you can send me a message, you can send me a text or give me a call, 815-275-6610.